Hello, it's Joe Valio here for Cold Beer Sports on Saturday morning. I have three selections for today, and uh, you know, if it's anything like yesterday, I sure would be happy. Uh, Earl's board was very impressive, I thought, and we got a good price. You know, he's still 5 to 1 available when I suggested that he could be worth a bet. And uh, so that was good. And uh, also at Tremor, um, I gave Moonlit Wings a uh, good mention. I know I. Uh, I had Lady Lerome in the same race, but uh, I did say Moonlit Wings was uh, positive in the betting just before the off. That she should probably get involved. And she, you know, she has plenty of ability, as I said yesterday, so uh, she won that easy. Uh, the other two, you could just Lady Lerome finished with her now, and uh, the other one of uh, Peter Fatty's missed our call. She ran poor, but sure. Uh, no, it was a very good day in all, so. Uh, nice profit shown and uh, hopefully more of the same today. Uh, so I have three selections. Uh, there are no massive big prices or anything like that, but you know, so they're just three that I think will win. So that, that's basically all you have to do, isn't it? Just keep back on winners. So uh, the 210 at Perth, uh, the horse is uh, Tiger Orchard. He's uh, trained by Dr. Richard Newland and ridden by Sam Twiston Davis today. This horse has won two bumpers. Uh, it's his first time over hurdles today, but he has had experience over point to point fences. And, um, you know, he's always been highly thought of. I think uh, today is a great opportunity because the second favourite, uh, Ian Jardine's horse, uh, has come first run for Ian today. It's a horse that he used to uh, run in Ireland. Uh, you know, moderate enough horse, I'd say. And, um, the third and fourth favourites today that are coming back from massive breaks. Now, they were good, very useful flat horses, but they're coming back from a massive break uh, to take on this Tiger Orchard today. I can see Sam Twiston Davis uh, keeping things simple, just bounce him out in front and make all like he did last time out in a bumper. So uh, that's Desert Orchard in the 210 port, two point win at 7 4. Right, uh, the 625 at Tremor, a horse called Crack Ella. She's around uh, 11 to 4, or he, uh, 11 to 4, 3 to 1. Uh, I tipped up a horse, Gold Dubois, during the week in Tremor there uh, at 10 to 1. I think he was placed, so that was fine. But this Crackella beat him and beat him well. Um, he goes back onto the flat today off a much, much lower rating. Like he's rated 45 on the flat now, I think. And Joy Sheridan taking off 5. Uh, he's rated probably in the 110s over hurdles now, especially after winning the other day. So he's thrown in. He loves for more. Uh, there's not, you know, there is no negatives. He should win. <laughs> you know, simple as that. I think it's three to one, eleven to four, three to one. The only thing I will say, you know, he's a moderate enough horse. So where he'll produce the same run as he did the other day, only you know three or four days later. Uh, that's your only worry, but if he does run his race, uh, he 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 will win off that mark like he's thrown in, as I say. So then just moving on to the seven forty five. Then at bat, my final selection of the day, my boy Charles. Uh, this lad is progressing away. Is again, you know, he's no superstar, but this is not much of a race, and uh, he's run three times, twice at bat, and run very well at bat twice. I like that angle. Horses that run well at courses. Uh, he clearly likes it at bat. Uh, Tyler Heard takes off five pounds for Adrian Wintle, whose horses are running well. Uh, just if you look through his last three or four weeks, there you know a lot of horses from that stable running consistently well. Uh, this lad has had a few engagements lately and taken out because of the ground, and you know I think they're waiting for this for a proper opp opportunity. Also, the favourite, uh, Point Louise, she wants to rattle in fast ground, but they've had plenty of rain at bat, so they were giving it good to soft, and even even in soft in places, so that might suit uh, Point Louise. Now, I know it might dry out a bit. It's, that race is not till 7.45, the ground might dry out a bit, but still in all, uh, I think it, it favours uh, my boy Charles more than it would the favourite Point Louise. So there's your three. It's going to have two points win on each of them. I'm going to do, you know, I'm going to suggest uh, a point 
win Trixie as well. So they click, uh, it'll be happy days. So thanks very much for following and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks, bye.